Hi guys, today's YouTube video I'm going to show you how to make Winnie the Pooh lettuce. These have already been sprayed. You'll also need paper from a book, scissors, a container to hold the Mod Podge and a brush, Mod Podge in the glass range, and a pen. You want to start by tracing the outline of the letter onto the paper, fitting in the picture that you want on the front of the letter, then cut out the template that you've just drawn. You need to get something to lean on because you don't want any Mod Podge going on your cupboard. You want to protect your surface. And then apply the Mod Podge to the paper that you've just cut out. You don't want to use too much Mod Podge, but you want to make sure all the out outside of the letter is covered. Like I say, if you, view, if you use too much Mod Podge, you'll end up with a wrinkled letter. It will dry creased. So firmly press the letter down, not too hard as the paper will rip as it's wet. Any edges that do come off, just apply more Mod Podge. But make sure all the edges are stuck down because you don't want to peel them. As you can see, there is excess paper left over, which is fine because we will trim it off in the end. But right now we're going to leave them to dry as it's too wet to trim. We'll move on to the next letter. For this letter, I'm going to be using two pieces of paper as the letter is too big for the paper. So I'll place the letter down on the piece of paper where what part of the picture I would like on the front of the letter. Make sure you do all your letters the right way. I have learned from experience of doing a letter, a lovely letter, and realising it is facing the wrong way. So make sure they all face the right way. When you spray paint so on, when you spray paint the letters, spray the back, not the front, because the picture goes on the front. Then just draw around the letter again. You want to do this for each and every one. And then carefully cut the letter out. You don't want to go too far into the letter. You want to always have ex excess paper hanging over because if you go too far in, you have to throw the letter away because you'll have to cut out another letter because you don't want that wood underneath showing. So excess around the letter is fine because we can always trim it off at the end. But if you cut too far in, you have to start the letter all over again. So again, make sure you carefully cut round. Careful not to go over the pen line. And you want to glue it on and just apply it and stick both the letters on. If you're using two pieces of paper like I am, just give it a little trim in the middle to make sure they don't overlap too much. And then go back to your first letter, trim off the excess. It won't be fully dry yet, but it's dry enough so you can trim the excess off as the glue will be now tacky. You won't get a perfect straight edge, you'll probably get little pieces of paper trailing over so if you just push them down it'll blend in nicely especially when you add the mod podge layer on top of it it'll all blend in again you want to do this for each and every letter draw the stencil cut it out glue it down and then trim the letters as you go.
So once that's done, you want to give your lettuce another little trim, make sure that you're happy with what you've cut off and what's left. You don't want loads to be hanging over the edge. And then once that's done, you want to add some Mod Podge onto the top of it. Those of you that have watched my previous videos, you'll see that I like to apply the Mod Podge in a straight line. Even though it does dry clear, you can still see the lines. So you don't let that fool you. <laughs> so if you just paint it in a straight line, then it just looks more professional. When it's done, it gives it a professional look. If glue also goes into the letter, make sure you wipe it off because it will dry onto the wood. And it'll make that piece of wood look shiny, whereas the others, it doesn't, it looks matte. I've used the matte spray paint anyway, but even if you use a gloss, if glue goes onto the wood, that section of the wood will look different. So once it's done, move on to the other letters and do the same for each one. Trim it, if it needs trimming, and then apply the gloss. <clears throat> so once they're done you want to leave them to dry for at least two hours I'd say you can also apply another coat if you want to or you can just leave them right now they're dry you can see a nice straight a straight line sheen. Mine is still slightly wet, so they will need a little bit longer drying time, but this is the finished result. And if you listen to what I said about not applying too much Mod Podge to the paper, they'll all end up without bubbles, which would be great. So I hope you liked the video guys, if you like give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, thanks for watching.